I'm going to be somebody. I'm going to make it out here. I'm going to get this bag. And have fun while I'm doing it. Eating. And I'm going to be the next B-Love. It's black hoodie. I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Well, well, well. What up, world? Call me jacked. Call me hyped. Call me jazzed. But uh, these are looking a little too nice. I'm very, very excited. Uh, this is another way I do wings. I'll have to show you it one day. It involves actually frying with oil, like hot oil. Um, don't burn your house down. And, uh, you know, some flour, some cornstarch, battering, things of this nature. A man must get, a man must get his thumbnail. So we do that now. So I feel like as of late, my wing videos have been too cute, too ASMR, not enough. You know, I, I just, I, you know, a nice chat with some buffalo wings, a nice savage chat and savage eating. Is it a savage chat? I don't know. But we do eat these buffalo wings in honorarium, memoriam, I don't know what you want to call it, of something that I'm going to have to touch on today in the topic of, am I past the point of no return? And today we will answer this question and eat these wings. Let's have a smash of a bite and then we talk about the topic being past the point of no return. And you're probably confused, what do you mean? I mean, as a YouTuber, and we'll, just, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. In the meantime, we must dig deep inside ourselves and get one of these beautiful wing dingers. These are the fall part. Post, Mal Post Malone, mm, I fall apart goodness. That's what these are. Watch how easy. That's what you call clean right there. That's clean. Okay, so. point of no return so if there's any other youtubers in my same vein or in general um, with a, a general amount of success on YouTube write down in the comments if you know the struggle that I'm about to talk about but uh, being past the point of no return is basically you start out your channel because it's a fun cute, entertaining thing to do. You found some weird shit. You got into it. You said, I could do that. So you started doing it. You started just getting in front of the camera. It's all fun and games. You notice you start getting some subscribers well that's fun that's very fun that's that this is fun I like this so now you're getting comments you're getting subscribers you're getting more motivated You see some potential here. Okay. Now you got a few thousand subscribers and you're eligible for monetization. Oh, wait, this is a real thing. I can actually make money. There's, mo there's money involved here. This is crazy. Did I just start my own little business? I think I did. Does it revolve around eating? It sure does. Wow, that's cool. I could definitely do that. Okay. All right. I got you. I see you, YouTube. I see you, self. I see you, audience. Let's go on a journey, okay? 
So you start going on a journey. Now you're grinding. I'm going to be somebody. I'm going to make it out here. I'm going to get this bag. And have fun while I'm doing it. Eating. And I'm going to be the next. Be love. I'm going to be be love. Life's going to be good. Now, if you find yourself in, you know, 20, 30, 40, type 1,000, maybe higher, subscriber range, chances are, like me, like opening video, my one viral video, uh, somewhere along the way, for your subscribership to shoot up like that, is you get your your glow up moment. I feel like anybody who gets up there decent and subscribe at one point or another had a little glow up you got a viral video it was your one shot and some people get like a hundred thousand or more or go huge and some people like me I got like a nice 20 25k nugget all at once which is nice don't get me wrong it was great but then you find yourself and this is what I've learned about YouTube, or I'm learning, but I don't know if it's to be true because I think you can push on and, and beat it. Is did you get your 15 minute one shot? Are you now stuck in the slow grind? Can you re-up, keep pushing up your con content quality, etc., etc., and go big again? Or are you stuck in slow grind purgatory, hoping and wishing on a dream, but at the same time, You've also built a sustainable percentage of audience to where now you do have a sustainable business to where your videos are worth making, right? And yeah, like you love them, they're fun. Still like to do them, but from a business perspective, they're still viable because they're still a good little income source. But you beg yourself the question, am I past the point of no return? Have I gone so far that at this point, I have no choice but to keep on grinding? I put myself out hundreds of videos of me doing some weird shit. Eating, talking crazy, being wild, exposing myself raw for the world to see. I can't go back on that now. The internet is forever. I promise you, if I shut down my channel today, Someone's got my videos saved somewhere to reopen up Black Hoodie 2. I can't escape this shit.
and that's where the no return comes in. There is no return once you've done this. That's half the reason why when you guys are like, asking about my real name and stuff, it's like, I never really wanted to use my real name because I didn't want to have it searchable and connected to this. Like most people doing YouTube that aren't big enough still have to work and like, you know, a lot of times this type of stuff will infringe upon your ability to get work. Some people in, in this day and age, people, employers will search out your socials. And they can make judgments based off your socials. And on here, I got all kinds of crazy stories. That would make somebody not want to hire me. Drinking, partying. Wild shit. You got it. So. Luckily, in my work experience, it hasn't been that serious. I'm not trying to be at a bank or whatever. Or working for a Fortune 500 company type thing, so it's not that big a deal, but you sit and lay in bed at night and ask yourself, can I go the distance? Can I keep this going? Can I keep it growing? Or is it just gonna fizzle away and fade away? And eventually my 10% of audience retention turns into 1% and I'm fucked. Or do you pump up the quality of your content? Pump up the content Try to get the shit truly popping again. And ride another motherfucking wave. I choose the ladder. We gonna do it. Or at least try. Because I accept the fact that I've come too far and I am in fact past the point of no return <laughs> oh gross I made it all cinematic but you know what I mean you get what I'm putting down. Also, just a point for y'all when it comes to wings, and I hate that I did it with these. Basically, if you buy wings fresh from the store and you freeze them, that's when they get that like brown, purple, dark inside. And I hate it that I did it with these because it makes it look a little like less visually appealing for the viewer. Which sucks, but I grabbed a big pack. I ate one half and then I froze the other, but 
you'll see what I'm talking about. Maybe just a pro tip to bring you some value in your life. But, mm, this one's not so bad. But, that's why a lot of times at restaurants, they'll be like that. Like very dark, like dark inside, dark purple, like that way. Kind of throws you off. Yeah, these are kind of throwing me off. You guys know I usually clean bone, but I'm not like I love the flavor. Everything's good. It just sometimes. The like visual aesthetic or something can uh, throw you for a loop. So I'm digging the, the veggies though. But yeah, 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 yeah. Hope you enjoyed that one. Um, if you have any comments regarding my uh, beautiful insanity in my head about this YouTube shit you let me know you just you just comment right there down below okay so till the next one you know what to do you gotta eat good live well stay true